We're asked to find the remainder when 2 to the power of 124 is divided by 7. We can answer this question using congruence by finding the smallest positive x, such that x is congruent to 2 to the power of 124 mod 7. Because the number is expressed as a power of 2, let's begin by determining congruences for powers of 2 mod 7. We begin with 2 to the first. 2 to the first is congruent to 2 mod 7, because when 2 to the first or 2 is divided by 7, the remainder is 2. 2 to the second is congruent to 4 mod 7, since 2 squared or 4 has a remainder of 4 when divided by 7. Next we have 2 cubed or 8. 2 cubed or 8 is congruent to 1 mod 7, since 2 cubed or 8 has a remainder of 1 when divided by 7. And this is good news. This indicates every factor of 2 cubed in 2 to the power of 124 can be replaced with 1. Which means for the next step, we need to express 2 to the power of 124 using factors of 2 cubed. To do this, we'll use the exponent property a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n, where m is equal to 3. To help us do this, we need to determine how many 3's are in 124. To help, let's divide 124 by 3. There are four 3's in 12. 4 times 3 is 12. We subtract, the difference is 0. We bring down the 4. There's 1, 3, and 4. 1 times 3 is 3. We subtract, the difference is 1. 124 divided by 3 is equal to 41 with a remainder of 1, which indicates we can express 2 to the power of 124 as 2 cubed raised to the power of 41 times one extra factor of 2. Notice the 41 is the quotient, and because we have a remainder of 1, we have one extra factor of 2. 3 times 41 plus 1 is equal to 124. And now from here, because we know 2 cubed is congruent to 1 mod 7, we can replace 2 cubed with 1. And now simplifying, 1 to the power of 41 is 1, 2 to the first is 2, 1 times 2 is 2. We now have 2 is congruent to 2 to the power of 124 mod 7, and we're done because 2 is greater than or equal to 0 and less than 7. We now know when 2 to the power of 124 is divided by 7, the remainder is 2. I hope you found this helpful.